Okay gems, welcome back. So today we're here with foundations, concealers, and color correctors. This isn't very much, but it's still quite a lot for one person. So let's hop into it, why don't we? I'm going to start off with like the little contained concealers. What is it called? Cream concealers? This Wet n Wild um, face like correcting palette came out, I want to say, earlier this year. And I honestly, I don't like the formula of it. So I'm going to pass this along to see if my sister or sister-in-law want to use it because I don't. Like I've touched them and I'm like, okay, nope, don't like the way they feel. But maybe someone else will like it. Everybody's different. So I'm going to pass this along just in case. Um, I'm also going to pass along this one. I want to say I got this in, like on a BoxyCharm or Ipsy. And this is, oh no, I'm sorry, this is a bronzer duo. I have a concealer duo that's like this. I thought it was it. Anyways, that's going along too, though. I don't really need that either. So, all right, kind of a fail, but we're going with it. So that's going away too. But these two I actually do really, really like. The Sonia Kashuk I've had forever. I mostly like this because of the green. This is a really good color corrector for when I have a breakout. I like to just tap this over my spot, blend it, and then apply my foundation on top. Works really well to cancel out the redness. So that's the one I use the most. The powder I don't really use. These two, eh, sometimes I'll reach for them, but mostly I'm keeping it for this green because I don't have anything else like it. So I really, really like that green. So keeping that for that reason. This cover effects, I actually, no. The sheer cover, the, color, the letters coming off. This sheer cover, I'm actually also keeping just for the one shade, the lighter one here. I really like this for underneath my eyes. It's got just a hint of peachiness as well as the white. Like, it's just a light peachy kind of. It's not salmon-y. It's not going to completely cancel out um, your dark circles. But I don't really get, like, dark, dark circles. So that works really well for me. I really like it. It's nice and creamy, pigmented, blends like a dream. So that's staying because I've had it for a while, but I love that one. So those two are staying. Next on the li liquid concealer, I was going to say loose. The liquid concealers, honestly, this NYX I bought because I heard it was a good dupe for something else. But I don't like it. I don't like the formula. It's too heavy under my eyes, and so I'm getting rid of that. Maybe so no someone else will love it more. These are staying, so I might as well keep them here. This M Cosmetics, this is the second time I buy. I bought this. I bought one for my niece, and she liked it. I wanted to try it, but honestly, I'm not a huge fan of M Cosmetics in general. This is in fair, neutral. This is neutral, cool, and it's okay, but I think someone else will use it more. I really never reach for it. It's practically new. Like, I've swatched it maybe once or twice, but I haven't used it because, I don't know, it just it never calls my attention, so I'm letting that one go. I'm also going to give my sister this LA Girl Pro Conceal. This was my backup in porcelain. I have this one here, which is almost finished up, and I do really love this, but I want to finish other concealers. So I want to finish this and then move on to these ones. So I'm going to let this go because it's brand new. My sister can definitely use it, and that way I can make myself use the other ones I have. So that's going just because I want to behave, be good, pass it along. And so I'm going to try to finish this one up. And then I do have the Naked Skin. This is in Fair. This is super, super light. So this might be too brightening. But this bisque, or custard from NARS, it's a small one. I think I got this in a gift set. This one is just a little bit too yellow. So I think if I combine them a little bit. I mean, this one's just a little too deep. So this one's too deep. This one's too light. But if I think, I think if I combine them on the back of my hand mix them together, it will kind of come up to a color that I want. So I'm going to give this combo a shot. And since they're both high-end, I really want to keep them both to kind of give them a try. So I'm thinking that maybe if I do this, do like that, you know, maybe we can make our own kind of a... See, I like that shade. So, yeah. I'm going to try to work this out, but I'm going to keep these three and pass along these two. Three. <laughs> I tossed them too far, but these are going away. Alright, foundations. This is the tough one because I love my foundations and ugh, some of these are really pricey or hard to find or whatever. This is my only CC cream, my only like BB CC cream in general and I really like it. It's cosmetics. Um, CC Plus, this is the original formula and I've had it for a long time. This is light. It's almost out so I'm just going to keep this so I can finish it up and then be done with it. So this one I'm not getting rid of. Then this Tarte, I've also had forever, but this year was the year that I fell in love with it, so I'm not letting it go because it's just the best. Like, when I want full, full coverage, this is my go-to, so I love that. This Milani, I've used, like, once or twice, and I liked it, but I'm not, like, 100% sold on the actual shade itself. I bought this when they only had, like, five or six available. I think they have more now, but I'm a number one creamy vanilla, and it's still just a little bit 
to something like to orangey to yellow I'm not sure but this one I'm on the fence about so this one is a maybe keep I'll leave it here for now these two Jordanas they were inexpensive I like them if I mix them together it makes a nice color combo but honestly who's gonna go through that hassle just like kind of like the concealers but I'm more willing to play with these than a foundation to be honest so these I'm gonna pass along maybe my sister can use them or my niece because I just I really I have others that I prefer so I'm gonna let these go even though they are good I liked them I have a video on that so I'll link it down below for you guys but I'm letting them go just because I have so many other options this one's still a maybe don't fall down this EX100 everybody raved about this for a long time and I was totally into the hype this is in the shade F100 I like it I wore it yesterday though and it really oxidized and went orangey on me so I might pass this along because even though it's a good formula I like the coverage and everything I don't like the way it kind of oxidized I'm way too pale for this so I'm gonna pass this along see if someone else can get some use out of it Naked Skin. This is in 3.0. I'm not letting this go. It's good foundation. Really light coverage. Great formula. I've had this for a while, but I like it. It's a little too deep for me sometimes, so this I will mix in with another one and just kind of get my perfect shade. So this one I'm definitely keeping, though. Same with the MAC Studio Waterweight. This one I love. I've, I only got it earlier this year, so I'm keeping this because I haven't had it for that long. I really like it. This e.l.f. one is surprisingly really good. I think this is $8. It's from the new foundation. It's a new foundation serum. came out a couple months ago. And I really like it. But since I'm keeping these two that are also lighter coverage, I'm going to let this go. Maybe my sister will like it or my niece. So I'll pass that along. Okay, we'll get to those in a second. These two. NARS Sheer Glow. I'm in Fiji. I love this. This is like my holy grail special event. Like, want to feel good kind of foundation. This is what I go for. Love this. Have to keep it because it's it's freaking NARS. Like, who gets rid of that, really? So that's dang. And this is a Tarte Maracuja Miracle. This one is the one that I sometimes mixed in with, like, the um, Naked Skin or sometimes with other foundations. I've mixed it to kind of lighten them. This is in the shade Light. And honestly, it's a little too pale, a little too pink. But if I mix it with others, it works really nicely. So I'm going to keep it just for the sake of mixing with, like, the Naked 3 or other stuff. So... And that brings me to these two babies. These are the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. These I actually really hate. I hate myself for buying two because they're like $45 each. This is $90 of product that I hate. I despise it. It sits really thick and creamy and heavy. And I can use like a drop of this with a really light foundation such as this one or the e.l.f. serum. And it just makes it really heavy on my skin. So I don't like the way this sits on my skin. But it's $90, like they were each $45, so I'm gonna try to find a way. Maybe if I put in a drop of oil to like, you know, kind of dilute it. I'm gonna keep messing with these because they were just too expensive to get rid of, but I really hate them. So <laughs> it's kind of like a total fail, but I'm stubborn enough to keep it and see if I can make it work kind of product because I just, you know, it's, I can't pass along 90 bucks. It just hurts my pocketbook too much. At the same time though, I I just, ugh, I love to hate them, basically. Like, I love to look at them and hate myself for buying them. But I'm going to keep them just to torture myself, so. <laughs> so, yeah, this really wasn't the most, actually, you know what? I'm going to let go of the Tarte, too. This is a good formula. My sister might like this as well. Okay, gems, so here we go. Final tally, I had 22 products here, and I'm also going to count one that I gave my sister because I forgot that she asked me for foundation yesterday. So I gave her a foundation. It was a Maybelline Matte and Poreless, like the Fit Me, and um, she was like, I'm totally out. Come on, I have to go to work tomorrow. So I was like, okay, fine. Even though I knew I was filming this, it was nice. And I gave her a foundation early. So I'm counting that one. But with that, it brings us up to 23 products. So breaking it down, cream, correctors, and concealers. I had three. I'm giving away this corrector and keeping the two cream concealers. Like I said, I like this green and I like this lighter one. So I'm keeping those two. Liquid concealers, I had six total. I'm giving away half. I'm giving away three, keeping three, not too shabby. But the foundations and that kind of stuff is where it gets tricky. So if we count the one I gave my sister, I'm giving away six foundations, and I'm keeping eight. And I know that's still a lot, but that also includes the CC cream that's almost finished up and the two cover effects, custom cover drops that, like I said, I hate, but I love them, but I hate them, that kind of thing. So honestly, I'm actually only keeping one, two, three, four, five actual foundations, one CC cream, and two kind of foundation fixing pieces of failure, but I just like to torture myself that way. 
So yeah, that's it for this declutter, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, this was going to be a hard one because who doesn't love their foundations? I'm actually really tempted to keep two of these, but I'm like, no, I'm going to be good. Let them go. This one was actually harder than I thought it'd be because, yeah, like I said, I love some of these, but I'm like, no. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this declutter. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you will click the like button and subscribe so you can see more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.